Hi, I'm Bunty Averson, a Senior Research Fellow at University of Sydney. This project is in partnership with Royal University of Bhutan and is funded by an Australian Research Council grant. The Wiki Bhutan Project. This aims to help Bhutanese become Wikipedia editors to create an editing community so that Bhutanese can, one, influence the ways in which they are represented on English Wikipedia, because at the moment Bhutanese content is mostly written by foreigners, often referencing Lonely Planet instead of local documented lived experience. Two, to develop the Zonka Wikipedia site, which can be used as a cultural counterpoint offering pushback to the colonialism of English Wikipedia, which presents a westernised view of Bhutan, whereas the Zonka site can offer an alternative space for Bhutanese to determine their own cultural narratives without interference. And three, to join the global knowledge movement that is Wikimedia. As well as bringing greater ethnic diversity and better representation from Asia, Bhutan's unique worldview reflects its strong morality. They have embraced digital media in ways that reflect their oral traditions. So I'm particularly interested in how they may choose to use audio and video on the Zonka site. This is a bit about Bhutan. It has a population less than a million, oral culture. English Wikipedia is Bhutan's seventh most visited site, and it has a small, unknown Zonka site. The project. So it's an action participation project. I'm not Bhutanese and I'm aware of the sensitivities that that brings as an outside research researcher. To ensure that I conduct this research in culturally appropriate ways, firstly, I established a consultation committee to guide me and to be a sounding board. Secondly, I partnered with the Royal University of Bhutan. And thirdly, I accessed a series of civic groups to be participants in workshops. Myself, I don't speak Zonka, which may sound counterintuitive for this research, but which I consider highly appropriate. I don't think I should be participating on the Zonka site. I am only an observer. In 2019, I undertook pilot training with Zonka editors to understand best practices for approaching workshops. This should then have been followed up in March 2020 with the first group of high school teachers, but then COVID struck. So unable to travel to Bhutan, this year I pivoted to working with the Bhutanese community in Canberra. About 4,000 Bhutanese live in our national capital, and they're mostly here with their families, undertaking tertiary studies at the universities. We held two workshops, which were very successful, albeit a very small cohort. So this is looking at the dashboard. You can see six editors, 17 articles edited, and as to date, so within three months, more than 17,000 views of the work they did. But there have been considerable challenges. Firstly, the advantages. Being in Australia, they're in an English speaking context, which makes it easier to conduct English workshops. They're in a university environment. They're highly educated. They understand referencing. They are articulate and they are many of them experts in their fields. Because of this growing um, population of Bhutanese in Australia, they, a Bhutanese ambassador has been appointed and he's terribly supportive of the project. There is a lively and generous Australian Wikimedia community who are happy to arrive and just turn up and help. And it's certainly closer for me. The disadvantages, however, are significant. The Bhutanese in Canberra are busy. Just keeping up with the pace of life here means they're busy working and studying. I miss uh, the structural framework that I'd put in place, which gave me access into the Bhutanese community in a particular way. Um, but a very interesting challenge has been that two of the participants are the experts in their field. For them to work on pages on 
COVID in Bhutan or to work on language in Bhutan does actually mean referencing their own written journal articles, which clearly produces issues around conflict of interest. So the next step is to go to Bhutan, which I'm hoping to do as soon as possible and pick up where the project was there, while also working now with the Australian-based Wikipedians. That's it. Thank you.